Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. Now in this episode I need to fix a few things. So one of the things is right just above my head. I didn't put a filter in this did I? So let's go and do that first of all. In fact you don't have a filter in these, you just have to put something in here. So what I've found, let's have a look over here and see what we got for Moon. Oops, that's the last place that is. I've got some moon dirt, so I want just one of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to filter that. Let's just get that on the interface here, and I'll try to remember not to mess up between import and export this time. I was watching one of my videos, and I was going all the, all the wrong way around from the wrong perspective. So what I'd like to do is here we've got carbon. You see what I've been doing is I've been putting this carbon in this chest here like that. To power the generator but of course because this hadn't got a filter on all of the moon dirt all of the carbon was being put back into not into the um, sterling generator but here so let's just take one of these like that and then put this into this filter well I can't can I, I need to get the uh, a card uh, acceleration card a capacity card so I think one capacity card will be enough so we can do that like that and then this should start to empty out as well good so the carbon is now going to the to the quarry and not coming into the A system that was clever wasn't it i think we shall find no carbon in here just as a proof good now there is something else i've got to fix so what i need for that is i actually need some filters and i probably need some wood in that um some sticks I've got one, it's not enough, let's get some wood. I've got one there, let's just do it like this. I don't know whether this recipe works or not, but no it doesn't. Um, 64, let's get 64 of those out of there. And then make 64 sticks, because, you know, it's a waste of time doing this every time I want to do one thing. So what I want now is some filters. I don't want these, I want two of these. Like that. I can put this moon turf up there, can't I? So that'll get sieved. And I also promised to make some of these. I've got one more, I think I've got one more to make coolant cells, haven't I? One of the problems was snow. Actually, let me get some, I want to get some mint out of here as well. And I also want to get some pipes. I think they're in here. Got 30 something pipes in here. Oh, she got some filters in here too. I've already got those ready. That's fine. And what else do I want to do? I need to make a transfer node. I've got a couple of transfer nodes. Great, that'll do fine. In fact, I think I've got everything I need. There is another blockage. And it's actually quite a rare one, but it was this one you can see on here it's all full of oxygen and that's wrong so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put into this one here another a filter to filter that with just silicon so let's get out of here some silicon if I can get one I'll get one all right good let's put that into this filter here and split this up right click that and put that into there so this is only then going to let out silicon yeah I said silicon so that's fine. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a rationing pipe on here. Oh, we need to make a rationing. I knew there was something else. Oh, by the way, this is how I get snow. I wanted to show you this. I created a snow golem. golem. Put the two slabs around him like that. And all I need to do now is get my um, diamond, diamond shell and just hit it. And as you can see, Snowballs galore. Uh, that was just about four four stacks of snowballs, which is sixteen snow. That's another one more, and that'll give us sixteen snow. So what I was also going to do, if I haven't done it already, is to remove. Oh, I haven't got a bucket with me. Is to remove this cryothium thing here because it's actually 
of very little use. In fact, it takes too long. So what I'll do is do that. I need another bucket because I've got a bucket of water at the moment. And I can hear some zombies right below me. That's strange. So what do I want to do? All right, I need to make some rationing pipes. What have we got in here? I've got these. You see, I've not got enough snow for that one. Slabs. I just need some glass, don't I? Right, let's see if we've got any glass made. None in there. Okay, let me just see. Oh, I've got a bucket of water in there already. I'm not sure why I've got this bucket of water, actually. I must have had a reason for it. Let's just put it back. I don't need it for the time being. Snow. Let's get rid of this and make these snowballs. That's what I'm doing with that. I actually wanted that mint, didn't I? So let's click that. We should get 64 snowballs. Snow, right, plenty. And I wanted that snow. Right, I've got plenty of snow now. And I also want some... I wanted that mint that I put back very carefully. I think I only need half a stack, actually. I've got the empty bucket, so I can clear that out. What else do I need? Oh, I need some glass. I wonder if we've got some glass in here. Oh, yes, we have. And we need 16, don't we? So I'll just do half. Like that. So if I put that glass into there, I should then be able to make... Well, I thought it was 32 and 16. I bet the rest of these haven't loaded up properly. Let's have a look. Slash MT reload. Indeed, they didn't. Actually, that is quite a nuisance as it happens. Let's shove those into there, and then we can say we want this coolant cell to be made into um, 10k coolant cell. Well, whatever it makes. Oh, yeah, it makes the coolant cell, doesn't it? Right, this will do. So let's go down and fix this first of all. So what I want is a pipe coming out of here and I don't want it to connect to anything else. I think I should be okay. Like that. And into this pipe I'm going to take some oxygen. Now I think we can take one oxygen from here. Yeah, I'll take a lot, don't I? I will put that down there. It keeps something highlights it all the time. It's not very convenient. We'll put oxygen into this filter here like that. And of course it's already got silicon in there, so let's take that out. And is this working? It does seem to be working good. It sometimes breaks this and if it does break, what you have to do is to remove the um the book and put it back in again. So what I want to do now is I want to have on top of here a rationing pipe. Let's do that next. Break that off. Oh, I need something to stand on. I've got some mint with me. That's good. It's always easier when you can see the top of things. So we can now put this rationing pipe on top of this like this. And then it should only get once. I have to shift click it, don't I? And what I want to do is here is to bring this across here like this. In fact, should be able to do that. Just connect that to there. Like that. Oh, how's that also showing that? That's interesting. So that's got oxygen. And these should empty out now. So we should end up with one stack of oxygen and one stack of silicon in here. We can actually put these two in here, which is great, because that'll and get those out of our inventory so we don't need to have them and in fact I do prefer that because then you can see it working so what have we got in here now let's have a look we've got four quintuple we've got a long way to go before we get uh, anything more and I'm half tempted to make some more crucibles to speed up this process so what I'm going to do is remove this bucket of liquid cryothium here because I don't really need it to be honest with you and then we just take the RR pickaxe and just Hit this down. I've changed it to five by five. You can hit like that, and then you pick up all the snowballs from there. And this is what I wanted the um, this for. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just use the, the builder's wand. Right-click it. 
I've got a feeling I heard zombies. Oh, yeah, well, you can see on my map here I've got a, a snow golem. But the zombies don't seem to be underneath, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't know that. So how are we doing with this one? Oh, it's got a few. It's got a bit of time to go before we actually get to getting our cooling cell. So I should also have some moon rock in here. I haven't got any, and it's run out of carbon. So the next trick I'm going to implement is the one that Exhedra told me to do. So I'm going to take one of these solar panels here, like that. And then just come down and put one of these solar panels on that, and that'll keep it running basically all the time. In fact, if I get my RR pickaxe, we can go a bit faster. I don't have to keep filling it with carbon, which is also a good thing. So that's a very good tip. Tip, thanks, Hedra. In fact, I can leave them both, and all I have to do is put the put the solar panel on the cable. As soon as that does that, it'll start to quarry again. As you can see, it's moving along nicely. Of course, that'll only work during the day, but I don't mind that too much. You can always put some carbon in for the extra power. Let's go back to the RR pickaxe. In the process, we'll go and visit the, the world's worst mob farm. Let's we'll see if we actually have any mobs here at all. I suppose it's a good chance of it if I have got any they've already um decom despawned. Well, none of course. Down here what have we got down here? Ah, good stack of stack and a half of cactus, so that's working nicely. And I've also got some pumpkins here. I think I did that last time. This time I'd like to make some melons because melons are actually interesting as well. So what we've so I still want to go down and check this again now, make sure this is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Got two oxygen in there, three oxygen. Ah yes, it probably needs a stack upgrade in here. So let's see if we can get a stack grade up. Oh, we've got one spare. If we're not, can we actually make one? No. Um Let's see if we can make a stack upgrade. Well, we get those, but I think I'm going to try this recipe. Nope, can't do that. Let's go back. I've got enough diamonds now. That's great. Um, oh, this is too expensive, in my view. It's only a stack upgrade for an R oh, to cook, so it's, and this is also too expensive. I just need some gold nuggets. Let's do those. 63, that's fine. I can always put them back if you know what I mean. So only I could do is, oops, what did I just do? Try doing that. And now we should be able to do the stack upgrade, I think. Right, they're not exactly cheap anyway, three diamonds for one of these, so let's have a look down here. And I want that in the oxygen one, don't I? But what I should have also brought with me was, um, there we go, that's not got a stack in there. So that's now getting a stack of each in, that's great. I don't think we need any speed upgrades, it seems to be working just fine. And I would like to go and get some more um, glowstone. Let's go and get some glowstone and put glowstone in there. It probably causes a bit of lag this, but it's nice to see. So let's just get rid of that. If 
fact you can see the numbers of these were just increased then because we've probably got that's empty anyway So where did I feel as I wanted to put some glowstone in here? Oh, maybe in here as well, actually, for that matter. So we didn't actually see anything coming through. Is there any in that one? Yes. That's got some in, but that's got no... Oh, it's not got oxygen in there. Maybe I need a speed upgrade in that as well. It seems to be going down fairly fast. Yep, I need a speed upgrade in that. So let's go and get one of those. Should have brought one with me, really, shouldn't I? Hope the wrong room. I think I should break this doorway down as well. <laughs> Could have done of course was to decompose those i'm going to try an experiment with that actually to be honest with you so let's just uh, remove that that was a shift of course and i need the speed upgrade in the oxygen side because that's the one that's getting done through most it's using twice as much oxygen as it is silicon just watch it for a few seconds make sure it doesn't go yeah it goes down to about 32 and then it goes up again that's great so this should be nicely working away now, which it looks like it is. And I probably could put another speed upgrade into here. I took one out. Oh, I think I put in five. And what happened then is this filled up. So I, what I did is I removed the five and put them down here. I don't think I need that. Let's just remove one of these. Oops, I've got all four. And let's put one of these down here get a balance between the two so then it'll go in here what was happening is this filled up on the right hand side but just with um completely filled up and it just couldn't with your standard cobblestone or compressed cobblestone and it wouldn't go couldn't go around again but that looks reasonable if this isn't fast enough maybe we just do it one more time and have this as a two that might be better that did work that time. That was a shift. That was a roll. Uh, I think that was an up roll. Yeah, that looks actually better. I think that's going a bit faster now. Oh, it's all this tweaking. It takes forever. Right, enough of that nonsense. Let's get on. And I wanted to see if I could actually improve this. Look at that. I want to connect them there. So what I wanted to see whether I could actually use a an import bus, a fluid import bus on a chest with a one of these. This is what have we got here? That's a fluid import bus, and so is that. Well, have I got the quartz wrench with me? I haven't. I used to have good. Oops, missed. Try again. So if I take this quartz wrench here now, and what we're going to do is we want to put a chest down. And connect it to the ME system. Um, I'll use something that doesn't give me a problem. So we've got, see, now we have export, ME export buses. No chests in there, of course. Let's just get a chest out of here. I've got a couple of chests in there. That'll do fine. And what else would I want to do? I think that'll do for now. We can put, I see on here I've got a chest, but I think that was going to feed that in with carbon. But what we can do is actually put the ME, now I won't be able to access it from here. So let's first of all make some water. They disappeared very fast. Of course one goes into here and the other one goes into that. And let's just take a stack of that. If I put this chest, say, to pick up one of these chests, say, here, like that, 
I probably can connect this with an ME fluid import bus on this right hand side here is what I was hoping to do. Yes, it looks like I can. So let's put this down here like that. And that connects. And that's an import fluid import bus. If I put something in this chest, can I connect? Which I can't open, of course, because it's got a block above it. No big deal, we'll just move the one above it. Like that, and put this into here. I'll see if it disappears. I, but I suspect it won't do. No, it's not disappearing. And I just, I'm not sure whether we can. Oh, I have another idea. Let's try taking a item duct and putting it into this face here. So, I think I've, yes, I've got an item duct transfer transfer node. I mean. That doesn't look as though that wants to connect to there. I wonder if we connect can connect to the sides of this. No, it doesn't look like a connect in any shape or form. So I really don't know if it is possible to do what to do this. That's worked. Is it Does that work? No. is a bit of a shame actually I really would need a, I really could do with the way of putting these getting the water from these jars into that I wonder I wonder if it's possible to do it the other way around with the um, that fluid transposer so at the moment we've got water in that so if we turn that the other way around toggle empty so then that would be an emptying thing so we could then empty that from the top like that and then we could take the ME import bus from here let's see, just see if this actually works so if I put those in there I'm not sure I think it might be because this is full so let's just empty this out put into that the import Fluid import bus. Oops, great mist. Huh? How is that possible? Oops, wrong one. This one. Of course, it replaces that one with that one just to make life even more confusing. Let's see if I can get it onto this now. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, I don't believe it. Uh, let's try third time lucky. That's the export bus, of course. Yeah, let's do it like this. Ah, fantastic. Just what we want. A bit slow, but that's because it's not got any speed, any acceleration in here. But it looks like I can import these directly into the system. Okay, smashing. So we have some better automation on that now. Okay, good. So I know what I'm going to do next. So by now I should have got some more speed upgrades in this machine over here, because it's gone off. Yeah, I mean, another coolant cell. So we can then take this coolant cell here and we can then let's look at the uses of that one. Get the 10K coolant cell like this, put that up there, and then we can look at the uses of this one. We don't want that. Interesting 60K. An AK coolant cell. Interesting. This is what we want. Sure enough, we can make two more of these. And let's get some. What do we want to make lots of? Aluminium, don't we? 52. Okay, that'll do. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this into here like this, put those 52 in it. Aluminium of oh, extruding, we need to get rolling. Put the aluminium in that's in, watch the speed, and then shift click these in. Ah, uh, yes, got the speed of that now. And that's great because that means we've got to make stacks and stacks of these because we need to make heavy plates and we also need to make circuits. Great, so that means I've actually reached 24 minutes. On my time so I've got about another five or so minutes to finish to do something else so what I'm going to do in those five minutes is to make a melon um, I think
think we've got everything we need in here for melons. So let's have a look. We need to synthesize a melon. So, so look at how we do a melon. This one. And we can synthesize this. So we need some. Now, don't ask me how to pronounce this because I am a bit dyslexic and have terrible trouble with these things. But let's have a look. Cuckoo bitter. I oh, know, I can't. It's too difficult. <laughs> anyway, we need C30, H42, and O7. Okay. C. And O7. Let's see if I can do that one. Oh, actually, I've already got some from pumpkins. That makes pumpkins great. So we can actually put this into. Yeah, the one or what is that one now maybe I've got that in the book then and the books not there and the book is not there where is the book uh-huh have I put the books on my silly I should let me take those emeralds out of there I've made plenty of emeralds when I was doing the emeralds I think the chemist journals in here actually be around somewhere so I'll have to do it the other way that means by hand I wonder where it's gone to anyway so well, that was C33 wasn't it oh no it was C I've forgotten already C30 H42 so C30 H42 Oops, try that again, I must have moved. It's better than it's better to do that than click this forty two times into there and then O seven. Okay, and that should be making some this of this one. What I think I'll do is I'll Yep, yeah, and there we go. So the next thing we need is actually something also that's actually quite useful. It's this one. So aspartic acid. So that's C four H seven N O four. So C seven N O four. Have we got any nitrogen in here? We should have plenty of nitrogen. But well, it's not that easy to see. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll take this out of here now and get some. nitrogen what I'll do is I'll shove all of those in there for the time being and then we can put those into fluid transpose later on so you need to see um, yeah, these will do a stack of these cocoa beans good source of nitrogen thank you Kate Aid so of course I have to remove all of this That should be enough to get rid of that. Yep, still have still too much water, but never mind. So what have we got here? Thin and brine. So that's basically all we need, I think. So we need an NO4. So an NO4 is like this one N and four oxygen did that let me double check that recipe because I thought that was correct NO4 let's just see what that says let's have a look for the recipe for that ah that's everything in one line Okay, no big deal. So C7, we can do one of those and another one. H, I think it's H4, but I might have got this wrong. 
1n and 04. Yeah, I have. What's the, what's the H? OH. Sorry, I'm, I see for H7, I got them the wrong way around. And what I did, by the way, there was I simply put. Let's get rid of these. I simply put it in two left clicks and one right click, I think, and that do it, sorted out that. So, what have we got down here? I would like to get nine of the um, nine of these. Oh, we got some nitrate as well. If we got enough stuff in there, I think we should have. What have we got in here? What are we short of? Not oxygen. Oh, hydrogen, I guess. Huh? So we need some hydrogen. Let's put two stacks of hydrogen into here. And the reason I want nine, if it's going to go up, maybe it's not. What about shorter than that carbon, huh? Try doing that with a shift. As I can put this down. So then we've got uh, well, all we need now for the the melon so let's just clear off this recipe here so what we need for this melon is 16 of these so let's just half that 16 water if I remember rightly one of these put that in there and one of these there we go and then when you've got one melon like that you can take it out so what we can now do of course as we can put this down and I'm going to go put this down outside it might be night time I've just got I think I've got a little bit of time left so let's just put block down here like that and what happens is this it gives you a jump boost for about 20 seconds so I should be able to jump up on top of that now how about that and what else do I get I get jump boost and haste for 20 seconds so let's just quickly make another hole and get some dirt because I haven't got any with me Should have some dirt with me, shouldn't I? I'm also going to make a mattock. I think they'll leave that to the next episode. Um, I'm only going to make one melon. Oh, I need to make some melon seeds, don't I? That should be easy enough. Oh. That's not what I wanted melon seeds, really. I don't know if I'm going to plant melons. Yes, that's right. You've got to slice it. Okay. So that's fairly straightforward too. So we can do that, no problem, I hope. So what we'll do is we'll put the dirt in here. And then we'll put the melon down here like that. And all you need to do to, if you can't break it, which you can sometimes, just put a block on top of it like that. That didn't work this time. Okay, so I break it. Oh, there we go, our four melons, that's good. One of those gives me a melon seed. So all I need to do now is to get the hoe. Right click this, plant the seed. And that's it, that'll do for this. And that'll do for this one. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something new, whatever. Until next time, bye for now.